Let me just tell you right now, Joe, if you've got some time during your quarantine and you want to get on the internet, Google sex ratios, spelled like it sounds, and you'll see a body of literature from Vlad Griskovicius and colleagues in the evolutionary evolutionary psychology field. Sarah Hill, actually, she's in Texas and she's phenomenal. And so what they find with sex ratios, uh, sex ratios would be basically like the ratio of men to women in the room. Like it's exactly what it sounds like. And when there's a scarcity of perceived mates, so it's not a 50-50 ratio, like you're in a situ- like you're a, a gentleman and you're in a situation, you're a heterosexual gentleman and you're in a situation where it's like 30% women and 70% men, people's behavior gets crazy. And so I don't want to, and that's when you get like the signaling and the spending and they actually have macro level data where you look at sex ratios across cities and you look at the credit card spend for men And the things men spend money on are fundamentally different when there's fewer women. So scarcity of reproductive partners in the population. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really fascinating stuff. And I can't, I can't speak to all their findings because number one, there's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And number two, that's not, I'm not an evolutionary psychologist, Mm -hmm. but I will tell you that scarcity of reproductive partners does fundamentally shift the way people behave. And for women, Actually, one of the early papers on scarcity reminders and how it affects decision making was by Sarah Hill, who's at TCU, evolutionary psychologist, like I mentioned. And she published this paper in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology on the term uh, what she coined the lipstick effect, which Mm -hmm. is that when you make uh, when you threaten women's financial resources and she was leveraging this is coming out of the recession. So she was leveraging that as a manipulation. When you threaten women's financial resources, they actually spend more on cosmetics. So they're more likely to buy luxury cosmetics over mm-hmm. discount cosmetics. And I think the the interpretation they kind of softly suggested in the paper, I think maybe they're soft about it because it's it's not necessarily a popular opinion, is that if you, you know, if your finances are unstable, maybe you could like look attractive and team up with a dude and through doing so can stabilize your finances. Uh, there was a follow-up paper on that, looking specifically at the lipstick effect, which pa- painted a slightly rosier picture uh, mm-hmm. and said that actually sometimes women, like they did de- replicate the pattern that under times of financial uncertainty or under conditions of scarcity, women spend more on cosmetics, but they also found it can exist totally independently of mating motives. And then in fact, it can be because women want to do better at work and they mm-hmm. perceive that like they're seen as a better worker if they look better. Um, Mm -hmm. I know I spent like at least an hour on my hair because I'm like (laughs) hashtag scarcity, Mm -hmm. hashtag Raj, Raj Mm -hmm. is 